Welcome back to the channel peeps. Uh, I recently dropped a video making an animated cape and it got like almost 3000 views in a few days. So I thought I'd do something similar and show you how to make and animate wings as you can see here. Obviously I'm not an animator so the animation is going to be terrible like I said in the other video. But um, yeah this is going to be basically what I'm going to show you how to do. And before we get into the video though, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on and make sure to like the video if it does help out. So yeah, let's get into the video. This video is going to be pretty similar to the uh, cape animating uh, video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually model your asset. So I'm just going to make some wings real quick. Uh, so I'm just going to insert a cube here. I'm just going to do a very basic one just so I can show you how it's made. Um... Obviously, if you don't know how to use Blender, I have other tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go in, into too much detail uh, of how to um, like my hotkeys and stuff like that. But I'm going to utilize the uh, mirror modifier just so it saves me time. So I'm going to go ahead and make these wings real quick here. It's going to be super basic uh, just so I can get these just a, just a rough shape here. And then obviously if you guys want to detail it further you can do that uh, but I'm not really gonna bother for the sake of the video so I'm just gonna go ahead and edit these I think these are good enough to be wings uh, you also depending on um, the amount of detail you want into your wings you want to add loop cuts preferably just so you can have uh, a little bit more um, detail into your wings so to add loop cuts you press tab to go into edit mode and then control R to add a loop cut. And now you can add a loop cut down. I think the more loop cuts you have, the less optimized it's gonna be, but the more uh, flexible uh, of an animation you can have. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bend this little part here using the proportional editing add-on here. I'm just gonna bend the wings here. I'm gonna also gonna shade them smooth and then go to object data properties normals and auto smooth and then now to save yourself time you can go ahead and uh, click this little blue wrench here add modifier uh, mirror and then go to objects so origin to 3d cursor and I'll set the origin here and then if you change the axis of the mirror to Y it will um, mirror the object onto the uh, based on the axis so now you have both your wings here now we can go ahead and uh, rig them so to rig them you want to go add mesh and then oh no not mesh armature and now you can have obviously this is going to be one bone so i'll place this here resize it a little bit and now you can go ahead and place the bones wherever you want the more bones you have the more um kind of detail your animation is going to have uh, probably the more difficult it will be to animate it as well. So I'm just going to keep it to three for now and then I'm just going to rotate it 180 and then bring it over to the other side as well. So now we have both wings with bones in them. So make sure the bones are actually inside the mesh uh, when you do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this in here. Now the, uh, the cape tutorial I did uh, a few days ago it's going to be more in depth than this. Uh, so if you want to know hotkeys and stuff like that, then you can go over to that video, uh, watch it. It should be more helpful than this one. This is kind of just interpreting the same method, but making wings. So this is pretty much our rig done. So we can go ahead and animate uh, or join the bones to the wings. Okay, so if your uh, bones are kind of separated like mine are, I'm just going to go ahead and click them both and then press Ctrl J to join them and you want to apply your mirror modifier so click the little arrow here and then click apply and now we can go ahead and join the bones to the wings so if I go ahead and select the wings and then select the bones and make sure the yellow outline is on the bones and then press ctrl and P and then click uh, with automatic weights and now this should uh, join the bones onto the mesh so if you go over to pose mode and then click on a bone when you uh, rotate the, uh, the specific bone it will rotate 
the mesh itself. Obviously, since the way the mesh is made, it's going to be a little bit scuffed, but your mesh is probably going to be different, so uh, you shouldn't have this little problem here. You want to preferably keep uh, everything into as one mesh, or as you can see, I kind of just joined two meshes here, so it doesn't work as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to rigging the the wings and now we can export them and bring them into studio now there is a few settings that you want to adjust when exporting so you'd go file export and then fbx and then you can go ahead and go over here on the right side make sure you have uh, all these will be blue here just make sure you untick everything but the armature uh, and the mesh and other and then you can go ahead and export it wherever you want and now we can import it into studio okay so when you're in studio the first thing you want to go and do is go to plugins uh, avatar importer click custom and then import your the mesh that you obviously just exported now for the sake of being uh, a lot faster I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the uh, the wings I've already got in here but uh, you can follow this this method method when once you've imported your uh, your wings. So you'd click on your asset, and you go to animation editor, and then click on it. You should have to click on it and then create a new animation. I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, create new, and then name it whatever you want. Click create, and now you can go ahead and animate it. So if you're an animator, this will be a lot easier for you. But you click this little plus and then add all the bones and now you can individually uh, animate these bones like this obviously you drag the timeline out like this and then you can go ahead and sort your animations out and then you just click play and then your animation is pretty much done and then you can play it through script or do whatever you want to get it working I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it and now you can have this flapping animation of wings so you can use this as a cosmetic or anything like that in your games um, I'm pretty sure running just running an animation would just be like one line of script or of, of code so you can easily google the uh, the coding required for just playing an animation and you can get like a function and uh, like animal or anything like that using this method as well so if this helped out make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one peace